Hello, my name is François Nedelec from the EMBL, and I would like to introduce our recent work on cell division. Before it can divide, a cell should copy all its chromosomes by duplicating their DNA. It must also physically segregate them in order to divide. In animals, this task is done by the mitotic spindle, which is a structure made of fibers called microtubules, which can capture and pull on the chromosomes. In an egg, an additional problem arises because it's a very large cell. The spindle must form where the chromosomes are located. To ensure this, cells have a mechanism by which chromatin, which makes the bulk of the chromosomes, directly generate microtubule on its surface. It was expected, therefore, that the amount of chromatin would set the number of microtubules and consequently also define the size of the spindle. In our article published in the journal Cell, we measured these effects systematically. We used microfabrication to control the shape and the size of chromatin, and we used Xenopus egg extracts to make mitotic spindles, because it contains all the necessary components for that. Here is an example of an experiment in which the chromatin was located on little circular spots regularly on the slide, and you can see around each of these spots a structure of microtubule which form, which is a mitotic spindle. And so using this assay, we have measured the effect of chromatin on the spindle. And now, we still in Peugeot, I would like to show you how the experiment was done. Xenopus levis is an aquatic frog from Africa. They receive an hormone in the evening, and on the next day, we collect the eggs. The eggs are cleaned and packed into a centrifuge tube. During the centrifugation, the eggs will break. After centrifugation, we can recover the middle part, the Xenopus egg extract, which contains all the necessary components to make a spindle. We immobilize chromatin beads by using a standard microfabrication technique called microprinting. The slide with its pattern and cover can directly be transferred to the microscope, which is incubated at the right temperature to actually start the reaction. We hope you'll enjoy reading our paper published by Cell. Thank you very much.